successfully lifting off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and we're carrying the Amazonas Nexus payload on board. Now we've begun tilting the engine, that's called gimbling, and we've begun to turn the rocket horizontally away from the Power and telemetry pad. nominal. That is called a gravity turn. Now we're still going up, but we're also heading away horizontally from the launch pad. Just throttle down the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for our next event. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Point of highest stresses during ascent. Next cue. So with that, we are through the point of highest stresses on Falcon 9. Now the next major milestone will be coming up at around the T plus two minute and 30 mark. That'll be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then seek out. And back engine show. Excuse me, and second engine start number one. Now I talked a little bit earlier about the gravity turn. Part of the reason why we do that maneuver is to pick up velocity. A rocket has to go about 17,500 miles an hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth. That's why these next three events are pretty important. Miko is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines. The preparation for stage separation, that's where the first and second stages will separate. Then we'll start up that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage for second engine start number one. It's ultimately the Merlin vacuum uh, and the second stage that will carry the 